octal numbers are numbers from 0 to 7. Octal numbers have a base 8, so the numbers should be from 0 to 7. So let's solve this two octal number. So 3 plus 2 gives us 5. 5 is a number that lies between 0 to 7. So it's an octal number. Next is 5 plus 6. It gives us 11. 11 is not an octal number because it does not fall between 0 to 7. So let's change it to an octal number by dividing it with 8. When we divide 11 with 8, we get the quotient 1 and the remainder 3. So now we can use this 3 as the sum and 1 as the carry. So 3 becomes the sum and 1 becomes the carry. Now add 1 plus 2 plus 4, it is 7. 7 lies uh, between 0 to 7 and it is an octal number. Next 6 plus 3 is 9. So 9 does not lie between 0 to 7. So we have to change it to an octal number. So 9 divided by 8. So the remainder is, uh, sorry, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is also 1. So 1, this goes as the sum and this is the carry. So one, another 1 goes as the carry. So it comes here. So the answer is, 11735. This is the octal number. Problem 2. As I said, octal numbers are numbers between 0 to 7. So now let's solve the problem. So let's start doing the addition, starting from the fraction part. So 3 plus 6 gives us 9. So 9 is not an octal number so to change it to octal number divide by 8 you get remind uh, quotient is 1 and remainder is 1 so put uh, one here as the sum and another one as the carry next 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives us a 6 so 6 lies between 0 to 7 it's octal number next 7 plus 5 gives us 12 12 is not an octal number so to make it octal number divide by 8 so it gives you the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 4 so this 4 comes as the sum and this 1 as the carry so 4 1 next add 1 plus 3 plus 3 that is 7 so 7 is the octal number Next, 4 plus 2 is 6. It's also an octal number. So the answer is 674.61.